Hello everybody and thank you very much for clicking on this video. What I will try to do, I will try to place games on Google Stadia on my decks. As you probably already know, Google Stadia is a new cloud gaming platform, platform by Google and people were able to pre-order Founders Edition to receive the Chromecast and the Stadia controller to be able to basically use this service and play at the moment four games for free. Obviously other games you can buy like Red Dead Redemption 2 and etc. But they cost, but they giving Founders Edition backers four games for free. And I am one of the Founders Edition owner. So I pre-ordered this and I received and, re and um, tried for a couple of minutes or so to play. To be honest, I'm still the Shadow PC fan because I can play games not only for like Steam, but from Origin, pretty much any game library I can play on there. I have a, quite a lot of games on Steam, so I don't want to like repurchase them again on Stadia. Plus, I can play any emulator that Shadow PC runs, so I can play PS2 and etc. PS3 emulators, no problem. And can I can download certain games from Microsoft Store with a play anywhere feature, so like Gears 5 and etc. Anyway, and plus, oh, by the way, I get Windows 10 most powerful machine ever. So this is best thing for DAX users. But this video is about Stadia. So yeah, I do have a controller and currently I have a Chromecast connected to this monitor, but I'm not gonna use a Chromecast. I'm gonna use obviously the DAX, because come on, everything is DAX. So how, how you probably would think that should work. Oh, brilliant. You need, uh, according to Google, you need a Chrome browser. So let's open the Chrome browser. So I'm opening the Chrome browser. And what now we need to have the, um, okay, Destiny 2 starting, fantastic. And I do believe it's in the desktop mode. That's fine. So desktop mode, back in the game. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the Xbox One controller first. So back in the game. So game loads, as you can see, I still have the black bars either side, which is not ideal, but does nothing. Nothing's working. Obviously, I can interact with the keyboard, but it says the message in the middle says your mouse is currently not captured by the game. Please click anywhere on the screen to lock your mouse cursor. And by clicking that, nothing's going to happen. The message still, message still there and I cannot play this game with this controller or the mouse. Right. Okay. Stadia controller. Stadia controller, as far as I understand from what I read online, it, do, it does support the wireless connectivity, but currently it's been disabled by Google. So with the firmware in the future, they will enable that. At the moment it's disabled, so only one way to connect this to your DeX uh, would be using the uh, USB-C to USB type A cable that arrived with the controller. So I'm just gonna plug that in here. And another end I'll plug in at the back of on to my USB hub. So, okay, a bunch of apps detected that I do have the USB device connected and the light went from orange flashing to solid white, pressing A and pretty much nothing's happening. But I can show it to you that if I go to app draw, as you can see, it moves around because the my decks detected that I am my decks detected that I'm using the controller. You just don't want to basically stay there, don't want to recognize as a gaming controller. Right, how to do this? Well, yesterday I done a bit digging around online and I found the APK file called Chromium APK. So we're gonna start using Chromium a Chromium APK. So I'm gonna run Chromium APK file. It's gonna jump straight into a stadia because I already used it before, so it just opens the most the previous previous uh, link that I used. Now I'm gonna take Xbox One controller. I'm gonna click back into the game, press A, and I am playing Destiny 2 on Stadia on my DeX using Xbox One controller. Fantastic, you would say. Okay, yes, but I will show you one thing that I noticed while I was playing. That is, well, it's not a big deal, but it, it's uh, it's a bit a. Uh, well, you will know what I mean uh, when I show it to you. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna pick the... So right, I do have this game on, on Steam and I'm miles into the game on the Shadow PC. Imagine this game was chargeable. So I bought this game on Steam 
and now I need to buy in Stadia. I'm like, nah. so I wish there was or will be in the future the cross save state. So I can transfer my saves from here to whatever, whatever. So we're gonna go into the uh, uh, mission. No, 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 we're not gonna do mission. We will do, we're gonna jump here and we will go, uh, come on, we're gonna need, we need to fly, we need to land here. So we're, we're landing to trust land. So as you can, as you saw, I'm controlling the game using Xbox One controller with no problems at all. Actually, I can move the camera because either way, it's a black bar on the side. So, right. So it's loading. Uh, quality of stream. I, by the way, connected via a five gigahertz channel, Wi-Fi channel. Uh, I tried gaming with the LAN with a wired connection. It was perfect. It's just my. Um, my one of the power line adapters got damaged right so i am here so shooting reloading all works fine inside the game there is an option to press the select key and it will take you to the main menu i press the select key it acts as a back button on android so it doesn't matter what you do actually it does matter because i just closed the stadia all right let's go back Right, let's go back. I need to enable the desktop site. It's loading, it should automatically detect. Okay, let's start the game again. So game does work. Uh, it's just certain certain controller options. And now control is dead. Come on. Oh no, control is active. Okay. By the way, you can use a mouse, no problem. But with the mouse is, it's got at the edge of the screen and then you cannot do anything else. Plus by accident with the mouse pointer, you can click on a taskbar and you end up basically in a bad, pro bad situation. So controller is a reasonable way to go for. So right now I am using a controller and fine. It's someone died. Okay. And, uh, it's still working automatically because my like i said suddenly my internet became flaky so we're gonna go and, and shoot some shoot some in as you can see i'm playing no problems well there is problems it's all it's all depends in the face and i down <laughs> And I've been killed anyway. So I'm responding. So let's do respawn, right? Let's walk away from this battle because I want to show you a couple of more things. So yeah, about the back button. So when you click a back button, it just acts as a back button on Android. So you to get get in that menu, I need to press and hold the tab on the keyboard. And now, as you saw, this is the menu I wanted to open, but I can't because Xbox One, this select button acts as a back button on Android. So that's fine. Let's move that away. The stadia control already connected. It should detect, I hope. Okay, so a couple of seconds for con for a, a game control inputs to switch. And now I am playing using a stadia founders edition controller connected via USB type C to USB A. And What's this loot box? Oops, <laughs> friend of fire. Okay. Is that just a always running wave of enemies? It feels like it's never ending. Okay, I'm about to die. What's this? Mm. 
Right, let's carry on with the mission. So, Stadia controller, obviously A, B, X, Y, D-pad, uh, uh, the analog stick one and two, and, a, and there is a four buttons, but yeah, start, select, the screenshot button, and um, Google Assistant. Google Assistant doesn't work in this kind of configuration, and the screenshot or capture the game mode is not working either. Start does work, and the select button works too. So, as you saw, the Xbox One, yep, select button just acts as a back button and then you need to press tab on your decks on the keyboard for accessing this kind of menu. But with a Stadio controller, with no problem, you just press that button and it opens a menu that you, you need to open, basically. So, we're gonna go and see what's going on. It's telling me to go here, there's enemies. Come here, baby. Don't hide. Let's go. We are running. There's enemies here somewhere. In the face. There's one more here. Knocked down. So, no problems. No, literally, everything is sometimes get gets the lag so and so but stadia is okay is I'm, I'm still the shadow pc fan so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below what you think about this are you a stadia or you a P shadow pc or you x cloud user i'm just wondering like as a dex user what which cloud gaming platform you prefer i personally prefer shadow pc because i can use i can play games from multiple libraries steam origin blizzard you play etc etc i can get some of the xbox one games using a play anywhere feature from microsoft play store plus i have the most powerful windows 10 machine that you can get plus it works perfectly with my ultra wide 34 inches monitor so there's a lot of plus plus and plus from shadow pc stadia on a telly no problem with my deck setup not that great thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next one goodbye